We are underway. First pitch swinging through Swift. Rounds it to Pagliarini. And just like that, there's one away as the winner gets Texas tonight. Here's Jared Glenn's delivery. Ground ball right up the middle. Fielded by the Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Year, Drew Swift behind second base. So many runs already in this tournament. And he works a walk. So Hawes on as a one-out base run. the other way and lines a base hit to left and that will score the game's first run as Hawes crosses home plate and Kai Murphy is able to get Arizona State on the board with an RBI single 2-0 count got behind throwing sliders it's time to attack the zone and Murphy just slices this ball to left field a little bit of an Ishiro swing Attack here. And lift a fly ball to deep left center field. All the way back at the wall is Dan Ryan. It's off the wall. Murphy rounds third. He will come home and score the game's second run. All the way into third. With his fourth triple of the season is Drew Swift. And it's 2-0 Arizona State. Fastball middle of the plate down. Might been a little bit of a cut fastball, but Drew Swift smokes this ball. Dan Ryan's on his horse, runs out of room. Unfortunately, thought he had a chance to catch it, then realized. Jump right back up through the middle, off the second base umpire, and into center field for a base hit. That will score Swift, and it is 3-0 Arizona State. Three zero fastball swing and gets it. Second base umpire Craig Barron unable to get out of the way takes one in the ankle. Doesn't affect the play any as they had no chance again. Sun Devils with three across. That's a high fly ball well hit out to left field. But room for Ryan Strollo and that will end the inning. On a sinker down. Handle grounds this one. The second baseman McLean and for the second consecutive inning. Jared Glenn leaves runners at the corners for Fairfield. Patient chasing stuff out of the zone and being very patient. These two at bats. Rips one into left center field, though, here for a base hit past the dive of Justin Guerrero. So Ethan Long, a leadoff base runner, bumped the whole day back, but today no rain in the forecast as Baez skies one to deep left center field. This is at the wall, and it's over the wall. His second home run. In as many days as Dan Ryan ran out of room. Nate Baez goes deep, his eighth of the season and second of this Austin Regional. That's a two-run shot that adds to the Arizona State lead. It's now 5-0. Head coach Tracy Smith said the offense really got going when they put this guy in the lineup. And that's a fastball that I call middle-middle. And generally, things do not work out very well when I throw a pitch right there. Nate Baez just missed it in the second inning. It's got enough to get over the wall and left in center field. On ESPNU at 9 Eastern. And there's a clean base hit to center for Dan Ryan. His second hit in as many at bats. He leads off the third by getting on base. Bro, if they get start getting tired. Well hit ball to center field by Cullen. And it's going to go over the head of Lampy and off the wall. And it's over the wall for a home run. That cleared the wall. I'm not even sure Cullen knew that it was a home run. But Fairfield is now on the board. Only the third home run this year for Sean Cullen. And he hit that to dead center field. This is another fastball, middle, middle, or sinker, sinker that just doesn't do anything. Cullen hits it, and right away, it looked like he thinks he got it. My only way of finding out if he got it or not was seeing the back of Joe Lampy. Lampy was just dead turned, backing it down even more. Let's see if we see a soft changeup or a breaking ball. Third hit of the game already for Hunter Chump. This one will get all the way to the wall and be good for extra bases. So a single in the first, a single and an RBI in the second, and a one-out double here in the fourth. 
The ninth pitch of the at bat is lined off the glove of Guerrera at short. Knocks it down, keeps it on the infield, and saves a run. But Ethan Long is aboard with his second hit. And now it will be runners at the corners for Arizona State. Ethan Long's just too good to throw that many curveballs consecutively. It seemed like it was about four or five. Gardo, you hang them, we bang them. And just missing there was Nate Baez. Pops it behind first. A little bit of trouble for Sean Cullen, but he recovers and is able to make the out. And far Greg Olson, Arizona State's gotten the job done as there is a ground ball and a base hit back into center field for Matt Venuto to lead off here in the fourth for the Stags. Two, that would be a perfect scenario, I would think, for Tracy Smith. Osliger gets the bunt down. This has a good chance to be a bunt single, and it is. Hawes once again has no play. As Venuto gets down to second, Wasliger bunts his way. Too, so he has the ability to keep moving here, but now it's a wild pitch that's going to allow both runners to advance. Two runs, one strikeout. Handle rifles one through the hole in a right field for a base hit. That will score Venuto. Here comes Wasliger to follow. It is a two RBI single for Mike Handel. And Fairfield's right back in the game, down by only two. It's six to four. Handel's been quiet. Dead pole hitter. Gets a sinker middle of the plate down. Laces this ball past a diving Moss. Great hustle on the base pads. Wasligert's main weapon is a slider. Ground ball to third, gobbled up by Hawes. And that retires the side. But back-to-back -back innings where Fairfield strikes for two runs. Paul McLean is back in the right field, short right field. Ground ball off the pitcher that knocks Corrigan over. And that'll be a base hit for Pagliarini. Let's check on Brady Corrigan, make sure he's okay. Porter is leading to what pitch? Throws a slider here and misses. Ball four. So runners now on first and second as Fairfield has the tying runs on base. With runners in scoring position and two out. He gulps one out into the gap in right center field. That'll drop in for a base hit. Pagliarini scores. Bachetti right behind him. We're tied at six on the two RBI base hit for Strollo. You are getting a huge gift basket, partner. This sinker, middle of the plate. Strollo got his first hit in the second inning on a bunt. This ball is driven into the gap, scores two, and our game is all square. And thinking back on how big it was, that the first baseman, Jack Moss, who looked, he initiated double play. And that put runners in scoring position. Strollo takes advantage. And now Wasliger lifts one to center, and that will end the inning. At Fairfield's best reliever right now in the game, Oliphant, or second best reliever behind Kafaro, at the coach. And so we're doing the conventional sign from the um, uh, home plate. That one lifted into shallow center. Trying on the dive was Dan Ryan. He trapped it and was not able to make the play. And going from first to third is Drew Swift. And ending up at second, a bloop double hunter jump, just like that, Arizona. Although Sean McClain has flied out three times in his three at-bats, and now getting crossed up and unable to find the baseball was Venuto. Where did that thing end up? Is it in uh, the umpire's gear? It's either the that ball or it's in the catchers. I think it ended up it's in, his in the umpire's gear. And now runners are allowed to advance. That's going to score a run for Arizona State. Oh, no, you can't do that. Where's the baseball, first of all? If it's in his pocket, that's a dead ball. It you is. Can't give the runners, you can't give the runners an extra base. I have never seen that before. That makes two of us. Derek gets Malika, past the home the plate umpire. The ball ends up in his pocket. And I know many baseball rules. It. I know many baseball rules, Greg Olson, but I am going to plead ignorance here. The ball ends up in the umpire's shirt pocket. Uh, an advance because the ball is dead in his pocket. Well, they did. 
And there's a ground ball to second, scooped up by Bachetti. And he will look Hunter jump back to third. He might have taken and taken off and tried to get home. Instead, it's a strikeout. As Baez goes down swinging. And he draws a leadoff walk. Ball, and we would argue that the ball would have dropped probably straight down. There's a flare to center field. Dan Ryan with his third hit. Stopping at second is Handel. Runners on first and second for Fairfield as they have a rally started here in the sixth, down by one. Arizona State's got the corners in and expecting a bunt. High fly ball, well hit left field. Back at the wall, Hunter jump. He's looking, it's gone. Justin Guerrero puts Fairfield on top with a three run homer. These guys just never quit. I was going through my notes going, how many sacrifice bunts does he have? Arizona State's up on the corners. He swung at three first pitches so far this game. And this Corrigan slider is hanging. And Justin Guerrero just banged this ball way out of left field. Thirteenth home run this. Chop to third. Hunter Hawes to first. And that ends another wild inning. Swung on and missed to Sansone. Gets Hunter jump with the tying runs on base here in the seventh place. So you don't miss any of the drama. Trying to lay a bunt down is Lampy. It's a pretty good one. Long throw made by Pagliarini. Not in time. Bruce Swift, the leadoff hitter. First pick swinging. Ground ball, base hit down the left field line. That'll be extra bases. Around second, Lampy. He will stop at third. That'll be a stand up double for Drew Swift. And now the tying runs are in scoring position. And attack mode. Swung on and missed strike three, and Fairfield wins it. Signor comes in and gets a huge strikeout on Hunter Jump. And Fairfield, their largest comeback win of the season.